Hey guys, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you the manual slowdown method. So in the last lesson, I taught you how to speed it up using the outer rim. And this time I'm going to teach you how to slow it down. So it's essentially the same, except you're going counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So I have this track and I'm just going to go counterclockwise and you hear it slowing down. And the more you do it, the slower it gets. You can also just do a little bit, depending on what you need. But if you find yourself doing this a lot, and same goes with the speed up method, if you find yourself doing it a lot, you may just wanna do an, a nice steady circle. You can also see it in the software. So, like I said, you can see it in the BPM. I said it in the last video. You can see it right here. When you're looking, you're seeing it slowing down. So I have it now in the 100s, 90s, and this track is 128, right? Uh, so you can see that, but you can also see it with the transients. Uh, and same goes with the speed up method. And I want to note this. The transients uh, in Serato DJ are right here. And one of the reasons why I like teaching, uh, especially beat matching using Serato DJ as a reference is because the tracks are right next to each other. They're lined up, whereas Tractor, they're separate. You can't uh, see the tracks one on top of each other or side by side. So this is one of the reasons why I'm using Serato DJ in this course to help illustrate some of these features, some of these techniques. So this has transients here. You, you have the beat grid markers on these tracks that have been beat gridded, but you also have, you know, the transients in the song and these little sort of jagged lines right here. So when a track is playing faster than the other track, or if you're speeding it up, you can actually see it speeding up. So I'm gonna actually put the same track on both sides so you see it. And I'm just gonna press play on both, okay? So they're both playing. Now, if I'm using the manual slowdown method, you can see that track right here, the transients just went down, right? They just went slower. So if I did that again, okay, now I'm gonna do it slower this time so you can see. See how it's shifting lower? See that, right? And then if I was doing the speed up method, it's gonna go up, right? So you'll see that that set of transients going up on that on this channel on this side right here in the software. Now that's with the vertical view. If you're using a Serato DJ and uh, you're looking at the different views, one of the reasons why I prefer the vertical view is because it when it's playing too fast or you're speeding it up, it goes up. And when if it's playing too slow or you're slowing it down, it goes down. If you're in the horizontal mode it goes left and right. So it's a little bit different, uh, but just so you can see that. So here I'm going to slow it down and you'll see slowing it down, it goes to the right, speeding it up, goes to the left. See that? So uh, it just depends on how your brain works and what works best for you. But if you are using Serato DJ, and you're just learning for the first time and you're like, ah, what's going on? I need some a visual uh, assistant. <laughs> then you might wanna put them in vertical mode so that you can really see, you know, up is too fast, down is too slow. So that's just a tip for you if you're using Serato DJ. If you're not using Serato DJ and you're just using your ears with CDs or thumb drives, then don't worry about that part of it. Uh, but in terms of just speeding it up and slowing it down, works the same exact way. Uh, so that is the manual slowdown method. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.